but the way you afford it is you just go with a dip. The car got fixed, as you can see. It was amazing. Thanks for everybody for all your support. Skip it up, the fucking loser faggot. And I've made that dream happen today. And I'm going to share that dream with you. I bought my dream car. And what is my dream car? My dream car is a NASCAR stock car. So how can I afford something like this? Is it even expensive? I don't really know. But the way you afford it is you just go with a debt, which is what I'm doing for your entertainment. So how can I afford something like this? Is it even expensive? I don't really know. So we're going to Daytona. <laughs> I'm pretty stressed and nervous about it because it's fast as hell. Fucking shit. That Probably won't be able to financially do the NASCAR thing anymore after wrecking my primary car. I just don't see it happening in the future. I raced at Daytona, went 200 miles per hour, got to taste just a small bit of my dream. I take solace in that. After many, many messages, I have decided to take the advice from some people and swallow my pride and make a fundraiser for getting the car back on track. As to be expected, I am getting torn up in the comments section of my Daytona video for having a fundraiser to get the repairs. I just don't know what I should do. Camelot331 then started a GoFundMe, begging people to fix the damage he caused. Camelot kept taking money even after the car was fixed. I knew something was up. I decided to do some digging. Camelot raised $11,660 to repair his car and gave a shout out to the garage who did the repairs. I decided to message the same garage, posing as the wife of a potential customer to establish how much Cody paid to get his car fixed. Hold on to your butts. Hey Aaron, my husband is looking for a rough estimate for parts and labor to repair my NASCAR. Its front and fender got smashed up, but it's just cosmetic, car still runs. Thanks. Fix please. We already fixed that lol. This just happened at the weekend haha, ha. not possible. Have him call me. So how much would you charge for this roughly? Looks the same as last time. Hang on I'll call him and ask. Thank you. I'm an idiot, that wasn't his, just an example. This is a photo of his accident. That's way cheaper. Thank goodness, you got a dollar value. Maybe 3,500-ish. Great, I will let him know, thanks a lot. Welcome, it's not that bad. That's good, money is tight at the moment, how much would it cost for the first photo out of curiosity? I think that was around 6,500. I think that was around 6,500. So Camelot raised $11,660 and only spent $6,500 on the repairs according to the man who did the repairs. That means $5,160 has gone right into Camelot's back pocket. This is the definition of a scam. Camelot crashed one of his NASCARs, begged strangers to pay for the repairs, then kept nearly half of the money for himself without refunding anyone.
Cody I know you watch these videos. You owe your supporters $5,160. If you don't pay them back sufficiently I'm going to report you to the fucking Federal Trade Commission. Have a nice day. We made it to Charlotte Motor Speedway. We're gonna try and not wreck. <laughs> That's just the main goal. The car got fixed as you can see. It was amazing. Thanks for everybody for all your support. Cause that was insane. I never expected to give my wildest dreams for to have that much support from the community, so I appreciate it. And now we're here, we're about to go hard as hell. So get on it, dog on it. Yes, boss. <laughs> yes, boss. Ooh. Yes, boss. Yeah. <laughs> You're exposed, bitch. You're exposed. If you got no games, you're exposed, bitch. You're exposed. You're exposed. You're exposed, bitch. You're exposed. You're exposed. Fucking shit.